more connection, positive connection with what's around us in terms of uh, biodiversity, just nature more generally. And I really hope the green spaces of the Isle of Man stay green and we take care of our beaches and the, um, the kind of fields and, and green spaces aren't built upon. Here we've still got, um, to a large extent, the the original field patterns, and and that provides you know habitat and connectivity between the habitat patches and so on. Um, we, we're a really good example of how to do that. If you add in our Blanks Wildlife Trust Nature Reserves, and then you add in you know really really nature encouraging public spaces and then you take some of the other big landscape projects on then you get to the farmland and you imagine you know we have a wonderful stat I think Isle of Man has got more hedgerows per acre than anywhere else certainly compared to the UK but maybe we should have even more maybe we should set our bar even higher or make them wide make them the widest hedgerows and so we actually encourage more of that and that would be in itself beautiful. I think people would be out in all sorts of weathers enjoying the outdoors and the environment. You know the wildlife trust movement that was probably set up you know a hundred and odd years ago to protect spaces and have nature reserves that doesn't mean that that's not still a fundamentally important thing that we do but we have to look beyond our nature reserves now because if we can influence the other you know the other 99 point you know nine eight percent then we can do massively important things you know i don't see biosphere being bad for anyone we're not trying to con someone and get them to pay more money for a property we're you know we're we're promoting something that's good for everyone that's inarguable so that makes me sleep well i never fancy being a car salesman we'd celebrate the natural world so much more we'd have so much more of an understanding of our place in that balance Thing, but I think one of the beautiful things about the Isle of Man is the nature and I think if we grasp that it could be such an amazing tourist destination and a proper little utopia you know that's separate and feels so um, like an Arcadia. Where should we start? Let's start in people's back gardens. I went to a wonderful um, garden open day at the weekend and it's a gardener's garden it's got all these little rooms and all these beautiful plants as well but it's an absolute microcosm of things for nature imagine if every garden you went in had a little bit of that you know artistic flair but also enhancing wildlife and nature imagine the the potential impact that that could have for across the whole of that what I'd call or what others would call a green lace across the island I, I would love to see more trees being planted. I would love for us to have more information about what are the right plants to put in your garden and not fill it up with exotic things that have been brought in from somewhere else. But I'm not here talking about adding more nature reserves. I think we need less nature reserves. We need to have everybody understanding that the whole island is a nature reserve and it's their responsibility to keep that nature alive, uh, functioning and future proof, uh, because it's our future proofing, in fact, against uh, our adaptation to climate change that's already baked in. You know, how long have humans been on this planet? How many generations? How, how far are we from the original baseline of what wildlife should be out there? And we know things are going extinct all the time, and it's, it's massively sad. And, and that's one of the reasons why I work in, in conservation, is to try and sort of turn that around. But we're only going to do that if everyone understands the issue of, of what we're losing in terms of wildlife and nature. Yeah, it's a, it's a living thing. Our island and, and um, it, it's, a, it's a living organism, we have to protect the body as well as the spirit of it. 
I think the Isle of Man can be a fantastic place to experiment with nature. You know, we can grow a whole bunch of things here. We could bring um, a whole range of, of plants that are under threat in their native habitat and grow them in gardens. Yeah, okay, it's not the same thing, but if what you want is those genes and those species to survive, we have to think outside the box of, of you know, we need a bigger national park. No, you don't, because there's no room anymore. We have to think differently. I love the sort of research you see at the moment going into trying to find a, a vaccine for COVID. Going into how, how do we try and treat these diseases that are coming into our trees? I'm not I'm not a social scientist, but but the more I get involved in conservation, I come to the conclusion that actually the ecologists and the marine biologists and the botanists are not the key to conservation. The key to conservation are that are that all the other people on the planet. Um, we need I really think we need to start thinking about our planet as our life support system. You know that is the thing we have in common and that we all need to start acting like crewmates instead of passengers. Unless we, unless we value our island and our culture, we can't understand, well, we won't have a full understanding of the need to value our environment as well. I think they're all very much, they're all very interlinked.